hi guys welcome or welcome back to my channel thank you again to anyone who has subscribed and if you haven't already please do so so that you can be notified every time i upload today we are going to be making some crock print nails i have already went in and primed my nails with my model one's cuticle oil along with a mccart base coat and a mccart top coat and then I will be using my 3XL full cover tips. For my first step, I'm going to be using this Model 1 0827 and this Savvy Land number 12, along with this number 10 Shein brush. Then for mixing my polishes, I'm just going to be using this little plate that I have and going in with that glitter along with the Savvy Land black and I'm just going to be mixing it up to kind of make like a glittery black. And for some reason, the silver glitter was like sticking to the bottom of this. It was very odd. And then I'm going in with 0428, uh, sorry, 08 by Model 1s, which is like a shimmery, dark olive green. And it's too dark for what I wanted, so I went in with this 0685, which is a fluorescent green. And I am just using a smaller brush and a size 8 just to mix that up. And then I could barely see the glitter, so I decided to add some of that first silver that I used with the black. Just to add some chunky glitters in there. And I just mix it up. Now going in with each one of the nails, I'm just going to be painting everywhere but the cover that the part that will be adhered to my nail. Sorry, and it's a little off at first, but then I do get into frame for you guys, I promise. And I'm just going to be choosing which nails I want black and which ones I want green. So my fact for today will be that my favorite color is green. So go ahead and add a fact about yourself if you feel comfortable down in the comments just so we can get to know each other. I'm really hoping that my AliExpress stuff gets here in time to record for my videos but something is telling me that it might not get here in time. I didn't get too many things, it was just like a handful of things and it was mostly full cover tips for you guys. Let me know what you guys think of full cover tips because I've been using them because I like to showcase artwork, but if you guys want me to do more of my acrylic building and things like that, please let me know down below or like the video if you're happy with what I'm doing with the full cover tips. And once I'm done painting the bottom of those, I went ahead and cured, and then I am going to put a second coat on, and then I'm just going to be adhering the tips with this Kiara Sky Builder Gel. I just find that it pops off the easiest for me, and my peel-off base coat. So I'm just showing you, I do this for each nail, I just add a little glob. So we're just gonna put them all on. Once I'm done with that, this is how they are looking. I just love these tips. Now I'm going to go in with that 0685 again, and I'm going to fully paint the green nails.
So once I am done painting those and cleaning up the cuticle area, I went ahead and cured it. Then I'm going in with this Model 1's top coat and I am adding that to both of the nails as well. I love the Model 1's matte top coat so much. It's just the perfect consistency. If you guys haven't used it yet, you should definitely try it out. Also, I wanted to mention, is there any kits that you guys have been wanting to see? And also, what do you like? Do you like poly gels? Do you like acrylic? Like I said, when I first created this channel, I wanted to do, I want to do a well-rounded nail things. Like I want to do acrylic and poly gel and test out kits and stuff like that. So let me know if there's anything that you guys have been wanting to see so that I can do that for you guys. Now I'm just going in with that Sabi Land Black and I will be going in with two coats of this because you guys will see later that if you don't go in with two coats of this, that it's really just transparent if there's not like the black glitter base underneath. You can see right here, you can kind of see my nail bed area. So I'm just going to go in and I decided to show you how I achieved full opacity for that cuticle area. I'm just kind of grabbing a big glob and then I'm gently floating it over the nail bed area. And then once I'm happy with it, I'll go ahead and I will stick it into the nail lamp. So once I am done, this is what they look like. I think they look super cool like this, but I am going to go ahead and matte top coat the black ones as well. And of course, once I am done, I am just going to cure it, and this is what we are looking like. And now I'm just going with this tiny dotting tool, and I am going to be doing my croc nails. So I do leave this in at regular speed for you guys because I only do one nail. So please sit back, relax, and enjoy because this took me a really long time to do. I just wanted to pop in here really quick and see what your guys' thoughts were on doing like video intros for my channel or do you guys just want to see nails and that's it. I'm just trying to connect with you guys and be a little nail family.
so once I am done with that, this is what it looks like. I think it looks so cool. I am going to not cure it, but I am going to go in with this Model 1's clear acrylic, and I'm just going to be pouring it over the cap because the cap is big enough, and I'm going to be gently sprinkling it over the entire nail just to make sure that that acrylic is getting on all crevices of that gel polish because that's really what's going to make the effect look really cool. And I just wanted to mention also the reason that I'm doing this crock print is because I had been wanting to do it for a while. And here I am just dusting it off. But I saw Tia Bella Beauty. She did a beautiful set during the crock print and I was like, okay, I guess I'll do it too. So I guess, I hope you guys enjoyed it. I know there's a lot of crock print videos out there. And this is what it looks like, you guys. I think it looks absolutely awesome. So to save you the trouble, here we are. I love how the green turned out. I'm not sure why the black one looks like that. Um, maybe the matte polish didn't cure all the way, but it's okay. I love how it turned out. Thank you guys so much for watching, and I will see you next Friday. Bye.